I just got this really cool cargo plane. Not, not cargo plane, cargo plane. And this is from Horizon. They sent me this really cool cargo plane. The plane flies pretty good. However, it has something really cool. A functioning cargo door right out of the box. Now, I've actually done something really cool in the past. Folding RC airplanes. I made a folding airplane when I used to work at a company called Flight Test. However, that's using foam board. Technology has advanced quite a lot since then. I've picked up a few talents, if you could say that. And I've seen another cool channel called Eternal Progression. This young guy has been doing some really cool folding wing airplanes, and it really inspired me to make some more really cool challenges. So I'm going to make an RC airplane that fits in this impossibly small cargo bay that pops out mid-flight, because that's a bit of a challenge. Two and a half inches, three and a half inches. It's a really small RC airplane. It's got to fit in there. Transmitter battery low. All right. What am I going to call this thing? The guppy? Let's try to fly it, see what happens. <laughs> Would you look at that? It flies amazing. Transmitter battery low. How does it glide? Oh no, it glides terrible. <laughs> it does fly, we can move on to the other actual 3D printed prototype because this is a simple aerodynamic test and it sort of passed. That's cool, let's see what it looks like. All right, we're printing the airplane. I have no idea what to do because these are different settings and this is lightweight PLA which foams. So it's a little bit of an experiment, but we are printing and it looks pretty good so far. Whoa, check it out. It's a little stringy, but I've never printed with this material before. How light is it? Oh wow, it feels really light. Whoa, it's really light. How many grams does it weigh? Four grams. It's basically this few slots have here, just a CAD model. Okay, I got those plastic parts off my printer, uh, lightweight PLA, and check this out. Yeah. Try again, hang on. Cut. Yeah, check that out. I, I don't think this is going to be the winning design. I, a lot has kind of changed and there's like a lot of internal problems with spacing. I did get it together. Let's go fly. Uh. <laughs> oh no, the prop is broken. Conclusions? I don't like this design as much. Mainly because I still haven't figured out how to fold this successfully. I think it's gonna to get too complicated, so I'm gonna to go to a different configuration that I have in my mind. Okay, I think I got figured out. The design once again got more complex because now I have to add some stabilizers because it doesn't have enough lateral yaw stability. But let's fly it anyway. Oh, that flies so good. It looks like it's an airplane flying upside down. <laughs> And it flies excellently. Okay, now comes the challenge. Making all this fold up. Because I think this one's going to be the winner. You know, I really got some kind of like problem here with like hoarding. I think I had some like mental issues. Oh, hey, what's this? BetterHelp, a sponsor for this video. If you're anything like me, mental health can sometimes be quite a bit of a challenge. I'm getting a little bit older and I'm going to the gym to kind of take care of myself because you gotta have a good body to have a good mind. I don't really have either of those things, but I am trying to improve my mental state and my physical state. That's why I'm really happy that BetterHelp is sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is a website that helps connect you with licensed therapists that can help address your problems and give you very unbiased advice. To get started, fill out this questionnaire with your basic needs and what you're looking for. And within two days, you'll get matched with your first therapist. If you're anything like me, I've got a very, very bad case of squirrel brain and, and sometimes it just really helps you have someone to talk to. That's why BetterHelp is very, very helpful because you don't need to go to an office. They're simply available on your phone. You can schedule your session at your earliest convenience. The really cool thing about BetterHelp is they allow you to change your therapist and find a new one at any time. Speaking of which, they have over 30,000 licensed therapists in their network. People spend many, many hours in the week going to the gym. Why not give your mind the same kind of attention? Click the link down below, help support the channel, plus you get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with licensed therapists and see if it's right for you. It's time to work on folding mechanism 
V2. I think it's gonna work. Most of these parts I'm trying to print so they just kind of lock into place with little bits of work here and there. So this is kind of like printed into the design. Same thing with this locking mechanism and it's just using some off the shelf rubber bands that I cut in half to tie little knots into. All I'm left to do is make the other side and try to fly it. The design does fit. You just have to fold up the wings all the way. This is definitely small. I've really never made an airplane like this before and dealt with such a tiny design constraint because this airplane is the smallest cargo bay. Behold, the plane is finally done. And those are annoying dogs. <laughs> we migrated away from the other design and I finalized this thing. I had to stagger the wings a little bit. So you've noticed they're actually like a little bit of a step. That's because the wings fold and interfere with each other. Now they actually fold up all the way and it folds out. We need to do a quick test flight. Very windy today. Probably the worst day to fly something like this, but hey, it flies. <laughs> wow. I mean, it did fly. Oh, it broke. <laughs> uh, okay, the plane still works. So here's the how, how it's gonna work. We're gonna fold the wing up like this, and then we're gonna fold the wing up like this, and then we fold this like that, and this like that. The tail also folds up too. And I actually 3D printed these little coil springs. First time ever printing any sort of spring. And I think that actually works pretty good. It's pretty small if I don't say so myself. And then, ta-da! It's like a magic trick. It's a grower, definitely not a shower. So I've made the impossible modifications. Mainly the servo sticks out too far, so I relocated the servo. So we did modify the cargo bay just very so slightly. Here's how this is gonna work. I've got this sled puller plane thing. I've got a drogue parachute. I have it's the airplane. Well, we know it flies. The question is, will it pop out of the airplane in flight? So what I gotta do is I gotta fold it up and then this thing goes in like so. Ta-da! So the plane's flying along, and this cargo door now only opens, it doesn't close. I pack the parachute inside, just so haphazardly laying there. Close it, plane's flying along. We open this door, parachute falls out, catches wind, drags the airplane out, ta-da, and then it flies away, if it all works. No, oh, wait, the plane, the plane came out. Yeah. Uh, it's heading straight towards the ground at a very high rate of speed. Uh, well, that didn't work. Oh man, look at the airplane. It's honestly not too bad because this plane is so lightweight, it just kind of bounced off the ground. I think during some of the testing too, I've done a little bit of glide testing and this thing does not glide. The main issue is the motors that are at a slight up angle. So if I hand launch it at a very controlled manner, it maintains a steady flight envelope. However, the moment the motor shut off, it's no longer influenced in pulling it up. So then it enters a dive. Adding more throttle doesn't really pull it out of the dive because it's just going too fast. I need to re-engineer this thing to be neutrally balanced and have a little more up elevator influence on these so it naturally just pulls itself out of a dive. Once I overcome that, I think this thing will fly really good. Probably still flies. I think it's still good. Yep. Hey, hey, leave it, leave it, leave it. We only have yeah. three out of four wings, but it is in the air. It's totally uncontrollable Here, without that. Let me, let me help wing. you with that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying its best. Huh. Well, that's certainly better. No. 
out. The wings are all folded out, so I don't even know what's the deal with that. I think I gotta re-engineer my mechanisms a little bit, and I definitely have to change the angle of attack of these wings. Because that time it definitely worked. It popped out and it was able to level off. However, it wasn't flying so hot when one of the wings were stuck like that. So other than that, it's back to the drawing board for some more adjustments. Check it out. Completely new design. Doesn't look like much yet, but you'll see. You'll see. You'll all see. Wanna see a magic trick? A box, a ruler, and an airplane. 24 hours later, we have a very radically different design. Uh, I gave up on another one, went to a more traditional airplane, so we have a complete revision. This time, no silly rubber bands, all three printed springs. It actually folds up like this. The tail folds, the wings fold. Ta-da, airplane. All right, let's see how it flies. Okay. Not great, not bad. Definitely flyable. Let's see how it fits in the airplane. So it's be loaded like that. Then when it's halfway in there, I take this ejection sled. The parachute clamped in the door, parachute unravels, grabs this rope, pulls the airplane out. Well, sort of like that. And the wings pop out and the plane flies away. This design definitely evolved twice. I had this carbon fiber one, but I'm like, well, if any of you are gonna replicate this, it's probably hard to find this carbon rod. So we went to a fully 3D printed one where it's only 3D prints, a little bit of styrofoam, and some three millimeter screws. All right, you ready to fly? <laughs> the plane. Oh, 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 long dart. <laughs> All right, let's grab the other airplane. We'll try it again. That one doesn't like lawn darting. <laughs> it's a little bit crusty. I probably should check this elevator. I think the elevator's got a little flat, so it literally just entered to like a super high speed dive and hit the ground at a high velocity. Good thing I have one more airplane. <laughs> That's a great altitude to circle back and then directly overhead you can release it. Mm -hmm. Out perfect altitude, keep it up. You don't need to pull up to so a straight level. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, open. Oops. Ah <laughs> pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up! She's out. Yeah, it worked anyways. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. Are you going into the field? Yeah, the motor, a motor snagged us off or something. I heard it make a sound. Man, I don't see it though. I don't know what that was all about, but all the motors like fell off. They were kind of hot. I wonder if I somehow inadvertently had the throttle stuck on when it was inside the airplane. And it caused these to heat up and the glue to just like let go. Oh well, good thing I got more glue. Whoa, that totally worked! Oh, that actually worked great, wow! All right, got to bring the plane around for a landing. Landing.
final evolution of the terrible airplane design. Another cool thing is I designed this plane in CAD. Now I'm learning a new program called Onshape. If you want to check it out, I have the actual CAD files for the airplane available so you can mess with these things at home. Always wanted to try revisiting folding compactable airplanes and this might just be the ticket. Free plans always down below. Make sure to check out Onshape because I'm just learning that new CAD program. All these files will be available there if you want to check it out. Oh, it definitely has some bugs that need to be worked out so print it at your own discretion. I only had like a day to work on this too because I have to leave and go back and work on my boat project. But it is there if any of you can innovate and make something perhaps even better than this. Folding mechanisms, always interesting. This is actually very similar to the Javelin missile thing I made way back then. All very demonetized, but hey. Where'd the plane go? Did you crash it? I landed it. Did you crash it? Sam, where's the plane? That was free, but I still wanted it. <laughs>